Hi guys, my name is Jen and in this episode we're going to be talking about the LBD aka the little black dress and we're told by the media that every girl is supposed to have one in their closet it's a closet essential and I agree with that but it's funny because when I opened up my closet I didn't have any little black dresses isn't that weird? I have a lot of dresses but they're all kind of really colored and sundresses or have a lot of patterns to it which doesn't really fall along with the episode that I wanted to show you guys. It's possible to thrift a little black dress as long as you have the patience for it but at this point I was kind of crunched for time and I wanted to have a good substantial video to show you guys so I'm really happy that Esther Pratik helped me out in the fact that they let me choose out five dresses that I really liked and I think the, I think the little black dress is all about the fit. I think thrifting is more about finding statement pieces but if you want something a little bit more classic um, you can just do a retail store and that's my little two cents. Let's proceed on with the dresses, okay? Peplum has been such a huge trend this year and I think it's because the silhouette is really universal to everyone's body type, um, especially if you're built like a stick. The extra fabric just gives the illusion of really killer curves. And I love this dress because of the mesh stripe in the middle. Um, it adds a really subtle hint of sexiness without being too overt about it. And to emphasize the peplum, I belted it with this spiked mirror plated belt from Zara. And since I went with a very, very smoky eye, I chose to nude out my lips. And for shoes, I chose these wedges from Ego and Greed. And I love how there's a zipper on the side because it makes it really convenient to slip them on and off. I think it's safe to say that at one point of our lives, whether it was very brief or long, we've wanted to become a ballerina. And I think this dress is kind of like the adult version of what we were dreaming as a kid. I belted up with a coin belt to kind of cinch the waist and add a little bit more funk to it. And I just decided to go with some very basic suede shoes and to add a little bit more sass and with these cute cat eye frames. And I love the fact that they're tortoise and I don't know, I just think they look cute. Remember, a little black dress doesn't have to be all black. I think it's okay to add a little splash of white because it adds a little bit more flair to your look. And I love the use of mesh in this number because it has a plunging neckline and has cutouts on the sides, but because the mesh covers it all, it just makes it look really tasteful and cute. For accessories, I just piled on basically just a bunch of silver, turquoise, and beaded jewelry. And I went with the same nude lip from previous outfit and for shoes I went with my Elgas because I just wanted it to fall along with the whole black gradient of my outfit. This outfit is called Alexa because I felt like I was channeling my inner Alexa Chung. I feel like I've seen her in a similar dress like this and I think it's because of that collar. Um, I really love this nautical schoolgirl vibe and to kind of follow along with that look, I went with these insane Mary Jane platforms and I love the studding on the toe and it's also on the back and platforms are a little bit tricky to walk in but because of the straps on the ankles, it makes it really, really easy to walk in. So for my last look, I went with this fun pattern and textured dress and in my opinion, 3D movies aren't that great. It's really dizzy and I don't like it, but I think 3D is great for dresses. And just a side note, I think texture is fantastic with girls with smaller busts because it kind of distracts from the entire chest region, you know? And I love how black and gold looks, so I went with this gold choker that I thrifted, as well as this chain bracelet and this spike bracelet. And to kind of follow along with the entire spike theme, I piled on these two thick spike rings that I got on ASOS. And because gold is a warm tone, I thought it'd go really, really well with these brown Desmonds that I got from Nasty Gal. And in the description box, I'm going to put down the available links to the dresses in this video if they're still online. And remember, I'm not pushing you guys to buy anything. Um, you are in control of your own wallet. So don't let me influence you. I'm here for inspiration, okay? If you have an Instagram, I'd love it if you follow me there. My username is I'm Jenim, So you can kind of keep up with my life there. Sort of. That's it. I will talk to you guys very soon. Hopefully. Okay. Bye.